Today is going to be like one of those happy days episodes where everybody gathers around the couch at Mr. Cunningham's house and they all laugh and talk about B-roll footage from earlier in the season. It's going to be awesome. We're also going to cover lag bolts so that you don't feel cheated by the end of the episode. So a few years back I caught wind that Doritos was having this make a video commercial for the Super Bowl contest. And I thought, huh? Scooby Sec? And what it was is if you made a spot, they liked it, put it on the Super Bowl, and it got voted as one of the top 10 commercials in the Super Bowl by USA Today, you won a million dollars. So I thought, yes, please. So I came up with this cool idea. There's this guy hanging out at his house in Los Angeles when the big earthquake hits like it usually does. And all he could think about is keeping this bowl of Doritos in his hand from spilling. That was his top priority. A little bit funny, a little bit crazy. Um, but I didn't want to do no Star Trek shaky cam where you shake the camera and the guy's like, oh heavens, there's an earthquake, am I right? Um, but there's a problem because if you build a full-size room with the actor in it and it's all furnished and you roll it and it tips on its side and it breaks apart and sofa lands on his head and he dies, you have failed. So I had to figure out how to build this full-size room crazy strong and lag bolts were the answer. I'm telling you, lag bolts are these pencil thick pieces of steel that you could screw wood together with and you're getting as close to permanent as you can ever get. These are straight up from Paul Bunyan or something, and he's really strong. So when you fasten a lag bolt, oh, someone sent me some cash. So to fasten a lag bolt, if you've never done it before, you shoot a hole through the wood, a little starter hole in the other piece of wood it's gonna go into, get a washer on this thing so it doesn't slurp right through that hole, and then you just tighten it all the way in till both pieces are secure. In fact, I had two lag bolts on the end of every two by four and reinforcement two by fours with lag bolts. This thing when it was done could take a hit from a nuclear bomb. So I had a good old violent time with that room and here's the commercial I came up with. I mean, it definitely takes some getting used to, but I love it here, so. I think we're having an earthquake. It's a good one. No, 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 no. My house is literally rolling down a hill right now. No, I'm serious. I'm gonna send you a video, man. I'm gonna send you a video. The key to surviving an earthquake is just hanging on to what's most important to you, then waiting for it to be over. It's over. That was cool, right? I didn't win anything. No honorable mention. But I knew that it was good. The only thing that's kind of messed up about almost achieving greatness is that you think you deserved it and then the rest of your life starts getting sucky because you deserved something and you were denied. It messes with your head. I'm okay with it. I really am. What's even worse actually is people that achieve greatness and then the rest of their life they wonder why it only lasted 15 minutes. That's crazy when you get too close to the flame. It messes with your head. There's a lot of days in a lifespan, so it's good to not just choose that one day that let you down and relive it over and over again and let it shape who you are. And yeah, this episode might be getting a little bit preachy now. So I apologize for that. Or maybe I'm just trying to get you head out of Juculo, if I could quote Tony Montana. So, all right, everybody, lag bolts, strong. Not even an honorable mention.